Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. It's the final episode of the series. We are launching our crewed Mars lander in 16 months. We have the Sturgeon as the only other mission. And that mission is this one. So yeah, it'll be done in two months. It's another X-ray telescope. So let's continue on to the next event. I have a new request mission on the, available on the moon, but I don't care. CMB mapping vehicle complete. Science mission training bonus increased by 100%. Minus 10% launch reliability though. That's not great. We'll still do science training. Launch reliability is still acceptable. And we'll go in September. Confirm. What's this new request mission? Another lunar broadcast? No, thank you. So let's quickly have a look at the others. Where are they? No one has the science for the engine and habitat. No one has the science for the lander. Japan has the science for the robotic rover, but are not planning it. The same for the sample retrieval. For the ground hab, China has the science, but are not planning the mission. And Japan has the crewed rover, but are not planning it. We are the only ones with the crewed Mars landing mission science, and we're launching in 14 months. Beautiful. Next event. Byron Massa retires. Astronaut Byron Massa has retired and will no longer be available for missions. Uh, as long as it's not one of the ones that's assigned to this mission. Uh, next event. Russia completed Neptune flyby as the second ones. And we have the CMB mapping ready for launch. Let's do it. 12,720 science. That's a lot of science. We have bad conditions. Let's reschedule that because I don't want to go boom. Let's reschedule it for October. It also gives us a bit more science. We have a new request mission here, Martian Water Study. Well, we'll study it with our own eyes when we get there. Let's try this launch again, see if the weather is better this time. It most certainly is not. Terrible conditions. 9% risk of critical failure. Nope. Uh, we'll go in February. That'll also max out our science, 14,160. Over 120 months though. Next event, we'll have our funding review. We got 600, so we're not going up to the next level. We have an inflatable habitat request. Uh, no, next month. CMB mapping launch in February. Let's hope we get there this time. Weather is looking much better. Adequate conditions, 4% risk of a critical failure, 12% of a negative event. Let's go. We have liftoff. It's again the big Saturn V that takes so long to go anywhere. Oh, and I actually think are we actually going anywhere, or are we blowing up? Oh, we're going somewhere. Good. I was worried there. All right, secure launch. No mission effects, and they're as reliable as they get. And here we go, CMB mapping, achieve Earth orbit. All right, we need to deal with drift. Uh, it has plus three drift every turn. We need to be between minus one and one. We need 20 comms, 20 data, 20 nav. Let's do this. We'll do... So we need to get this down. So let's do uh, location. Extrapolation. We have four turns, five commands per turn. Then we'll do uh, 
mission control monitoring. Then we will do an orbital plane adjustment. A gamma ray detection and a boosting of transmissions. That gives us seven, seven, and eight, and five power left. Plus we are down to zero on the drift. So I think that's an excellent first turn. Nice bonus there, an extra nav. Not bad. And we didn't have to resist anything, surprisingly. Right, we'll do another orbital plane adjustment and another boosting of transmission, taking us down to zero. Then we'll do a gamma ray detection. Another gamma ray detection and a boosting of transmission. That takes us to 13, 18, and 13. And four power remaining. Three power remaining. Two power remaining. Nice. Two extra data there. Okay. We have two turns left. Two power. We'll definitely do an orbital plane adjustment. Then we'll definitely boost transmission. Twice. We'll do a gamma ray detection. And I think recharge our power so we can resist twice. Then next turn we'll, we'll go up to plus one. And we basically just need to do a location extrapolation and we're done. So let's do this. Nice. Two extra nav. So we might actually finish on this one. I think we will. And there. Why didn't we finish? We need 20-20-20. Okay, uh, because this the drift only comes in after the uh, turn, so it's a start of the next turn. So we were drifting at that time, but we can just recharge. We have our 20%, 25% bonus award. Everything is where it should be. We don't need to do anything at all. And there we have it. Earth orbit achieved. All right, deploy, deploy Space Telescope Systems is next. Again, we have some drift that we need to deal with. We get plus four drift at the beginning of every turn. We need to be at zero. We can only bring the drift back. We can't bring it over. So we need to keep that in mind. We need 20 comms, 30 data, 20 nav. So, we'll do a location extrapolation. We'll do a mission control monitoring. Then we'll do a gamma ray detection. Again, it's four turns, five commands per turn. So gamma ray detection there. Then an orbital plane adjustment. And I think actually another orbital plane adjustment. It gives us one, eight, and fourteen. All right. We'll have to assist that. Don't want to lose two nav. Gamma ray detection is detected, the orbital plane is adjusted, and it's adjusted even more, and we go up to five drift. Okay. So, 
If we boost the transmission twice, then do two gyroscopic stabilizations. That gives us 7, 8, and 26. Hmm. Let's boost the transmission. Do two gamma ray detections. Uh, do a boosting of transmission again. And then a gyroscopic stabilization. That takes us to 4, 22, and 18. It's actually not easy getting the drift down. Uh, I'll accept that. Damn it. Three data will resist that. One calm I can accept, but three data? No way. Right, so we are up to six drift now. So we need to get a lot of drift going back. So if we do two location extrapolations, actually let's do three. That takes us back to zero. Then do... Recharging of power. It's almost impossible to get this damned... Actually... We'll do this twice. Then we'll do this twice. Then we'll do a gamma ray detection. That gives us 12, 26, and 25. But we need to bring the drift down five next turn. I don't think... We're definitely not getting the bonus. I'm not even sure that we're completing the mission. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. So we need to fix our drift by five. So that's four. Then we can boost the transmission. We're not getting the bonus here, but we can't even do that because we need to get one more back. So we need to do that, and that won't work, or we need to do that, and that won't work. Because then we're below on... Uh, shit. We're not going to complete this mission, guys. I screwed this up! I screwed this up! No matter what, we can't complete the mission. Because we need our drift down to zero. The only way to do that is to use three comms. If we use three comms... Then... We go below 10. So yeah, there's no way. There is no way. Nope. We're, we're gonna fail this mission. Oh well. I think, what is this, the second mission that we failed completely? It sucks that we fail it on the last, last episode, though. 
But, oh well. Shit happens. Shit happens. Well, we did get 177 science for six for 60 months. Well, that's something, I guess. But we did lose 400 support. Oh well. Dang it. Why does that keep popping up? I don't want to do that mission. Alright, we'll continue on to the crewed Mars landing launch, which is in six months. Five. Four. SLS block one research complete, and Japan has reached 50% Mars readiness. Good for you. China 49, Russia 31, and NASA 23. And we are launching in four months. Let's do the two times Ariane boosters. And continue on. China has reached 50% Mars readiness. Two times Ariane, six research complete, two powerful strap on solid fuel rocket boosters designed to improve the thrust of the attached vehicle. And crude Mars landing is ready for launch, guys. We are ready for launch. 95% launch reliability, 99% payload reliability. 14,712 science. We have four astronauts on board. And the weather looks good. Look at that beauty. USN Red Planet. is ready for launch on august 2005 going to mars with four souls on board adequate conditions we have one percent risk of critical fa failure two percent of a negative event we have the emergency power system so we can restart a task let's go five four three two one we have ignition. We have liftoff. We have cleared the tower. Go, baby, go. Go, go, go. Do not blow up. Do not blow up. Oh, it looks so dangerous when it's tilting that much. But it went fine. We have a secure launch, no mission effects. Our SLS Block 2s get a little bit more reliable. Continue. There we go. Crude Mars landing. Look at that. Look at that. Dock with engine and habitat module. Wow, we need a lot. We have drift and crew. Right, we actually have five crew because one of them counts as two. So we have drift minus three to three, it fluctuates. And it's at one now. We need to be at zero exactly. Okay. Okay. Let's do We have six turns, four commands per turn. Let's do a full system diagnostics. There's no bonus objectives here. Not at all. So we just need to do it. We have to do it. We need 26 comms, 26 data and 35 nav. There is no bonus. All right. Then we can do a manual course correction and an astronomical observations. So that gives us three, eight, and six. Then we can do a remote access configuration, taking our drift back to minus one, giving us eight, eight, and six. All right, nice, a positive event to start things off with on the full systems diagnostics. Very nice, it's always a good place to start with the diagnostics. And 
we have a manual course correction, which we correct wonderfully. We only have a 1% risk of failing. So uh, manual course correction was beautiful, and the astronomical observations were observed. And remote access configuration is configured as well. Beautiful, guys. All right, we're at minus three. Hmm. That one is nice. Let's do that. 10 nav right there. And then we'll do uh, full systems diagnostics. So we can actually only do increments of two in that direction. We then will do an aligned burst transmission, taking us to 18, 11, and 15. And... A precise sensor alignment, taking us to 15, 15, 19, right on the money for the drift. Confirm. Nice, a bonus there. An extra nav. All good. Aligned burst transmission is good. The precise sensor alignment is precise and wonderful. And we go up to plus one. And we actually recharge our power one every turn, I think. All right, so we have four turns remaining. So we, if we do an aligned burst transmission and an apoapsis burn, that takes us to 21, 15, and 26, and right on the money for the drift. Then we can do a manual course correction and an astronomical observations. That's 21, 20, 29, right on the money for the drift. I think that's a good turn. And we get an extra data there, so that was nice. The apoapsis burn is right on time. An extra two nav. Nice. And the manual course correction is correct. Ooh, and we do some real nice astronomical observations. Man, it's beautiful. Another two extra nav. Wonderful. And our drift takes us down to minus one. So we need to do an aligned burst transmission and a full diagnost system diagnostics. That takes us to 30, 26, and 32. Then we just need to do a positional triangulation. And we can recharge once. Our drift is right on the money. We have the comms we need. We have the data we need. We have the nav we need. We have two turns in hand. Wonderful. Burst transmission is bursting. The system diagnostics is awesome. The systems are just so good. And the positional triangulation, triangulation triangulates. We are where we're supposed to be. And that is magnificent. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We are ready to go to Mars, guys. We are so ready to go to Mars. All right, enter Mars transfer orbit. We have drift again, and we need thrust this time. Look at that puppy. Oof. All right, so we get negative three drift every turn. We're at negative five now? Oh, we're at zero now, and we need to be at five. All right, we need 40 nav. And we need 18 thrust. So we need to hit the full burn three times on the last turn. Luckily, it doesn't do any drifting. So we actually need 46 nav. 
and we need to have three comms as well. All right. So we'll do a full system diagnostics. Then we'll do an astronomical observations. We again have five turns, three, f five commands per turn. And again, there's no bonuses on this one. No bonuses. Basically, everything that gives us nav causes some sort of drift. So that is worth considering. Let's do real-time comms. Then do a trajectory correction maneuver and another trajectory correction maneuver. That takes us up to five drift. We'll go down to minus three. That gives us 13 nav on the first turn. Seven comms, four data. I think that's fine. And we get a nice little bonus on the very first task. Man, those system diagnostics are useful. And we get an extra comm, data, and nav. Nice. That is very nice indeed. All right, the astronomical as observations are astronomical. And we get an additional two data on that one. Man, oh, uh, that's three positive events in a row. And we get another extra data here. Wow. And then the trajectory correction maneuver corrects our trajectory. And it does so again, miraculously. All right. So we are at 14, 8, and 8. Okay. So let's do this. Three times trajectory correction maneuvers is 32. And that takes us up to eight, which means we'll drop down to five next time. Then we can do two full systems, uh, a full systems diagnostics. And, hmm. I think we charge our power. 35, 0, 8, and 8. All good. The trajectory correction is correct. It is again. And one more time, we hit it right on the money. And the system diagnostics, as always, is useful to do. And we are on the money with the drift. So we need to do I think we need to do deep space positioning, then do that again next turn. Or Do manual course correction, then do two traje trajectory correction maneuvers. We only need three comms. So this gives us everything we need. We'll go down to minus one though. So do a remote access configuration and another trajectory correction maneuver. That takes us to eight. That brings us down to zero on the drift. We have more than enough nav to do this three times. We have enough, more than enough comms. So we'll complete the 
Nice. Got two extra nav there. All right. So the drift will bring us back down so that we're right on the money. Then we can do three full burns, giving us the nav we need, the thrust we need, the drift we need, recharge our power twice, and we are there. So three full burns, and we will have completed our Mars transfer trajectory. And the full burns, that's burn and burn. Beautiful. Nice. And man, are they happy. And so am I. The mission control is just ecstatic. 368 signs for four months and a bit of support. All right, we have a new request mission here, orbital way station near. So next phase is in four months. We need to set some research. We'll do the Ariane 6, uh, four times supplementary boosters. And we'll continue on to the next month. We are almost there with the win, guys. World follows Mars launch. Thousands of onlookers gather to watch the historical launch of your crewed mission to Mars. The event dominated global media, culminating to the successful launch of your USN Red Planet vehicle. A message from your agency written by your PR team has been widely shared on social media. This, this launch marks the culmination of decades of work, of triumphs and losses, of repeatedly overcoming the insurmountable good luck uh, acts, or ACTS, gained 400 support. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and we did, of course, do the crude Mars landing on our own. We could have done it, done it joint with NASA, but no, they're not going to share in our glory. They are not going to share in our glory. Next event. And... Four times I only six research is complete. And that should give us everything, shouldn't it? No, 40, vehicle mastery, 44 of 52. Oh, this takes all of them. Okay, let's just do it. Uh, next phase of the cruise Mars landing is in one month, or one month. And that's the mid-course maneuver. Next event. Algol research complete. Next mission phase ready. Crude Mars landing. Let's just set the research real quick uh, to the upper stage scout. And we'll go to our active missions and continue on our way to Mars. En route to Mars. Tra execute trajectory correction. We have drift and radiation to deal with here. And we need to gather 50 comms, 10 data, 50 nav. Our radiation is currently at minus, uh, giving us a minus 30 payload reliability. So we definitely need to do something about that. Our drift is at zero and we need to get it up to 15. Okay. Well, we'll do a field systems di diagnostics as the first thing. And then we'll do a positional triangulation, or triangulation, not triangulation. Uh, so that's that done. That gives us three and eight. Then we'll do a mission data downlink. We have six turns, six commands per turn. And we'll do another mission data downlink. And another mission data downlink. And then... I think... An orbit trim maneuver. That gives us 24, 2 and 8. And it takes us up to 11 drift. We need to be at 15, exactly. 
and we also keep our radiation at a minimum. We gain three radiation per turn. All right, the diagnostics look good. The triangulation is, yep, we are where we need to be. The mission data download is good. Just to confirm, we try it again. Yep, it's good, and it gives us some extra comms. And one more time, just three times the charm, right? Uh, orbit trim maneuver is complete. We trimmed perfectly. And we are up to 11 drift. And we stay at 99% reliability. So we're definitely doing this again. Uh, not that. That. For keeping our reliability. So get that radiation down to zero. That's the first thing every turn. Then I think I want to do two apoapsis burns. A mission data downlink. And Another mission data downlink. I can't do that though. I don't have any data. So do a uh, astronomical observation instead. That takes us to 36, 5 and 33 with five turns remaining. We are almost there on the drift. So that's all good. Triangulation is good. The apoapsis burn is right at apoapsis and we do it again at our new apoapsis. Then we'll do the mission data downlink. Beautiful. And the astronomical observations are wonderful. Giving us an extra two comms. Nice. All right, 38, 5, and 33. So once more, we will make sure our uh, ship stays completely radiation free then i think we'll do an orbit trim maneuver and then a lossless compression that takes our drift to right to 15 so that was the whole point of doing those two then we need some comms and some nav So let's do two manual course correction. That gives us the comms that we need. And then we can recharge some power and do the telecommand upload twice. That gives us the, com, uh, the comms that we need. And that gives us the task, I think. The diagnostics are good again. And that was nice, an extra nav there. The trim is excellent the lossless compression is completely lossless and the manual course correction is correct and again we get it right on the money with the course correction all right so let's do this again to keep us radiation free then we can do a telecommand upload. That gives us 50 com, 17 data. We only need 10, 61 nav. We only need 50. And we can recharge three times, giving the, us the ability to resist three times if we need to. And we're right on the money with the drift. And we won't need to because we only have a 1% risk of actually needing to. So the full system diagnostics is wonderful. We get an extra data out of that. We are positionally triangulated and the telecommand is uploaded. Wonderful. We are done with the mid course correction. Nice. Achievement unlocked loud and clear. With a mid course maneuver. So that gives us a little extra science again and some support. But we don't need it because I don't know if you can continue playing after we hit Mars or land on Mars. But 
for our playthrough. This is the final episode. We're landing on Mars, and that will be the end of the series. We have a new request mission on the moon. Moon micrometeorites. Don't care. So next phase is the crewed Mars landing in five months. Mar in five months, Mars Horizon. I like it. Uh, we have the funding review now, and we actually made it to the next funding tier, just with 417 to spare, not counting what we are gaining, I think. So, oh, Mars mission remains on track. Coverage of your historic Mars mission has once again dominated global media after your crew successfully conducted a vital course correction on their way to the Red Planet. Mission Control had our backs as usual, commented astronaut Aisling Moser, whose words have been widely shared in the media. We miss our families, but we feel like billions on Earth are willing us on. We're doing this for all of them. Gained 300 support. Nice. But re review takes us up to 185,767. So we get a little more money extra month. And the scout research is complete. So let's just continue on and do the delta. And let's continue on to the next event, guys. Delta research complete. Uh, the upper stage of the delta. Delta research complete. Launch systems expertise research complete. 5% uh, launch reliability. We're not really launching anymore, but it's fine. Then we'll do the Titan II booster. We have a new request mission on Mars, impact analysis. No, we're not going to impact it. That would be bad for our astronauts, who are right there. They are right there. Japan and NASA are doing something. Let's see what they're doing, actually. Uh, they don't have any upcoming launches. Uh, most recent milestone was the Mars Lander Modular Space Station 3. They're researching NASA. Oh, uh, Russia are researching sample retrieval. Mars prep sample retrieval. Okay, upcoming launch, Modular Space Station 2. And China are doing researching Mars requirements and lander. And they're launching an artificial satellite. Japan are researching Mars requirements and land there and are doing an orbital VA EVA in a month. Okay. Well, you're a little bit behind, guys. Let's stay over here at Mars and look. All right. Next event. Titan II research complete. There we are. We are there next month, guys. Next month. We arrive at Mars. We'll do the Centaur C. Next month. Centaur C research complete. Next mission phase ready. Crewed Mars landing. Nice. Go to the active mission screen. Yes, we will. There we are. And we have a new request mission here. A spacewalk maneuvering unit. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, we'll set the research, Saturn 1B, and we'll go to the active missions, Mars Horizon phase is ready. Final phase, guys. Final phase of the final mission of Mars Horizon. Let's do it. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Man. All right, achieve Mars orbit. Uh, we have thrust and radiation that we need to deal with. And we need to gather 14 comms, 16 data, or 16 nav, sorry. 15 thrust, we don't need data. Uh, we do get radiation, so we get three to five radiation per turn. Our thrust will be reduced to the start, uh, to zero at the start of the next turn. So we need to do 
the full burn three times on the final turn. Which means that we actually need 22 nav and 17 comms. Okay. Okay. So we have four turns, four commands per turn. I think we'll do a deep space positioning. Then astronomical observations, then telecommand upload, and then a trajectory correction maneuver. That gives us four, 10, no radiation, four data left over. that we can use next turn. So yeah, I think this works. Deep space positioning is deep. The astronomical observations are observed. The telecommand upload is uploaded with a little bit of extra data for them. And the trajectory correction maneuver is corrected. Very nice. Okay, so we went up to five radiation. All right, so we'll do a trajectory correction maneuver. Then we'll do a mission data downlink and a full systems diagnostics. That takes us to 1417. And then we can do Hmm, I think a telecommand upload. That gives us the comms that we need. Then next turn, we can get the nav that we need by doing two manual course corrections. I think we're fine. Trajectory correction maneuver done. Mission data downlink is up. The full systems diagnostics are fantastic. Very sexy. Telecommand upload is uploaded. All right. How much do we get? Five radiation. All right. So what we really need to do is a trajectory correction maneuver and one, two, three full burns. That's all the comms that we need, all the nav that we need, it's all the thrust that we need, and we are in orbit of Mars. The trajectory correction maneuver is maneuvered, the full burn was full, and it was full yet again. And it was full one more time. Beautiful. Okay. So that goes down, but it doesn't really matter because the task is complete. Achieve Mars orbit. Dock with the lander module is the next task. And here we have drift and heat that we need to deal with. And it looks good, doesn't it? Oh, and cold. Okay. So we need 34 data, 34 nav. We need to keep our heat above zero. It'll be reduced by four at the start of the next turn. Our drift will fluctuate minus five to plus five, and we need to get it right on the money. This isn't easy, guys. All right. Uh, so 34 data, 34 nav. We can get 10 nav on this one, but it reduces our heat. So we need to get our heat up significantly.
All right, we have four turns, five commands per turn. We're going to do a manual course correction. And I think we're going to do two of those. Then we need to get our drift up some. The only way to do that are these two. So we want some data. So let's do a full systems diagnostics. Taking our heat down a little bit again. And then do a mission data downlink, bringing our drift up to minus one. So 34 and 34. There are really no wonderful ways of getting nav or data, sorry, data. So I think we'll do a magnetospheric imaging. So that'll take us to eight and eight, 11 comms, eight heat minus one on the drift. And I think we're good. So manual course correction is correct. And we do another one. No, 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 no. Uh, we get an, a little extra data there. Wonderful. Full systems diagnostics fails with a 1% risk of failure. It actually fails. Uh, I can live with that. I'm getting, not getting as much uh, comms as we need, as we could have. Mission data download is down. Well, it's up. Yes, it's successful. And we get some extra data there. Nice. For the perfect focus. And the system heat check is good. It goes down to four. Our drift goes down to two. Well, minus two. Okay. So we're at 10, 8, 10. I think I want to do an apoapsis burn. Then do two magnetospheric imagings that takes us to 2016 and 10 our drift is minus two our heat is three then we'll can do a manual course adjustment to get the heat back up some that takes us to 2020 and 10 um, what do we want to do with the last one? I'm thinking uh, magnetospheric imaging. So that takes us to 26 and 19 and 10. We'll have... Drift at minus two, but that's okay. The apoapsis burn burns. The magnetospheric imaging is imaged. And it's also magnetic, so that's wonderful. The manual course correction is manual. And once again, the magnetospheric imaging is magnetic. All right, so heat at four, drift at minus two still. Okay, we have two turns left to get this, guys. Two turns. So, I definitely want to do an apoapsis burn. Then I want to do a... Hmm. I don't really want to do a mission data downlink. Actually, I do want to do some magnetic imaging, but we need to recharge some power then. So that gives us that. Mm. 
then we can do a manual course correction. We can do that again next turn. We don't have any power. So hopefully we don't need that. Because it is the last turn next turn. All right, nice. Clear ground tracking, an extra nav there. Magnetospheric imaging is once again imaged. And again, we get better and better pictures of that. And the manual course correction is correct. Okay, 36 and 32 we have. The heat goes down to three, that's fine. The drift goes to minus one, okay. So we need to get the drift up one. So we do that by doing this. That takes us to 40 and 30. Then we can do a manual course correction for another four nav, and we can even recharge our power once again, so we can actually resist twice. Our drift is right on the money. Our heat is nice and high. We have 40 data, we need 34. We have 40 nav, we need 34. And all is great. Let's do this. Spectroscopic, spectroscopic survey was very spectroscopic. Very nice. Uh, and the mission data downlink is once again up. It's fantastic. And the manual course correction is smooth. So we even get an extra calm for that. And that is us docking with the lander. So cool. There we go. We are docked with the lander, guys. We are quite simply docked with the Mars lander. Undock from command module is the next task. Okay. Okay. And here we have heat and radiation again. And we need everything. So we need 24 of each comm data and nav. Our radiation is at three right now. Uh, we need to deal with heat as well. So heat needs to be to stay below three. We're at five now and we gain five each turn. Okay. So Let's see, if we do a full systems diagnostics, what's our radiation at now? Three. So then we can do a lossless compression. That removes the radiation. Then we can do a apoapsis burn taking us to seven, five, and 10. We have five turns, five commands per turn. Then we can do, I'm thinking another apoapsis burn. Oh, keep above zero. Keep below three and above zero. Okay. But then we can just do a mission data downlink here. That gives us one heat. Gives us 15 comms, 2 data, 18 nav. And our heat is within parameters and our ship isn't going to get any deterioration here. So yeah, the diagnostics are great. The lossless compression is lossless, therefore apoapsis burn happens right at apoapsis. And it was actually so good that we decided to do it again, and we generate an extra data out of that. The mission data download is so stable, it's ridiculous. An extra two comms from that. Wonderful. So we stay fully reliable. 
And we go up to six heat. Okay. So I want to do a spectroscopic survey and a manual course correction. That takes us to 17, 8, and 22. Then we need to get our heat down. Unfortunately, generating data does not do that. So we'll do an apoapsis burn. Actually, no, we'll do a orbital trim maneuver. Man, this is hard. Ah, oh, wait a minute. We will do an apoapsis burn and we'll do an astronomical observation. And we'll actually do a manual course correction as well. That gives us 17, 11, 35. Our heat is at two. Our radiation is at zero. So nice, an extra two data. Wonderful. And the manual course correction is right on the money and gives us an extra two nav. Very nice. Ooh, that was worrisome. Now perhaps this burn is a little bit off, but uh, we, we made it, we made it. The astronomical observations are observed with wonder, and the manual course correction is manual. The joystick was right where where it should be. All right, 17, 13, and 37 we have. Don't get any more unreliable, but our heat does go up to 7. So we need to bring our heat down significantly here. We definitely have to do an apoapsis burn, and we definitely need to do a lossless compression. Then... Or... Instead of a lossless compression, we don't have any power though. So a lossless compression it is. But we need to get down more than that, so we'll do... Two astronomical observations. That takes us to 21, 25, 42. We're at two heat. So all we need is some comms. Which we unfortunately can't get on this turn. But we can recharge some power and we can get it on the next one. So yeah. Alright, Apoapsis Burn is good. The lossless compression is wonderful. We get an extra two comms there. Nice. The astronomical observations are out of this world. And they are again. And we are just one calm short of achieving this. We do go down a little bit to 89%, but it's okay. So we need to do a telecommand upload. We need to do... Not that. We need to do a telecommand upload. We need to do an orbit trim maneuver and an astronomical observation and two more of those. That takes our heat down to two. It gives us 25 comms, 42 data and 45 nav. Our heat is where it should be. We don't care about the uh, radiation here because we're done after this turn, so we finish with a turn in hand. Unless something goes really, really wrong, because we don't have any... No, there we are! Beautiful! We are now in the lander. We are undocked from the command module. And now it's landing on Mars! Is that the final task, I wonder? 
A hundred nav. We need to gather. We need to deal with heat and drift. All right. A hundred nav. We'll get four to six heat per turn. We need to keep it below th three and above zero. Our drift will be reduced by four each turn. And we need to keep it at exactly zero. We have six turns, six commands per turn. We don't actually need any thrust. We don't actually need any thrust. Uh, this takes thrust away, so we need to generate some thrust so that we can use this. Okay. Understood. All right. So we'll definitely do a full systems diagnostics. And we'll do two astronomical observations. That gives us 1, 3, and 13. But it takes our drift up high, and we need to do some more heat. So... We'll do that by some precise sensor alignment. That takes our heat to two. And then we'll do a remote access configuration and a full burn. Three, four, 17, six power left, six thrust. We don't decrease our thrust at the start of the next turn though, so that's nice. Uh, uh, confirm. All right, full systems diagnostics is good again. The astronomical observations are super. And once again, they are absolutely astronomical. The precise sensor alignment is very precise. The remote access configuration is handled remotely. Beautiful. And the full burn is full. All right, we're up to six heat. We're down to minus one on the drift. Okay. Now, I want to do a full burn, and I want to do a Mars descent. Obviously. Now, we do need to get our heat way down, so we'll do deep space positioning to get that down to two. And then we'll do another full burn... And another full burn and a Mars descent. That takes us to 62 nav. Our heat is right on the money. Our drift is not, but that's okay. We still have some power to play around with. Full burn is full. Mars descent is descending. And the deep space positioning, uh, we're right where we should be. We're right where we should be. The big red planet is a giveaway. And the full burn is Ren right on the money. Oh, yeah. And an extra data we get for it as well. Ooh, and again, Mars Descent is good with an extra five nav. Five. Count them. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice indeed. Look at all that nav. Wonderful. Okay, we're down to minus five on the drift and up to eight on the heat. So we basically need to do that. Or do this. That's better. So we'll do one deep space positioning, one full systems diagnostics. Then we'll do a full burn and a Mars descent. That gives us the nav that we need. We're at minus five. 
So we can do an astronomical observation. And I think recharge our power. We have 102 nav. We're at two with the heat, so we're good on that. We're at minus two on the drift, but we still have turns to figure that out. Deep space positioning is deep. Full systems diagnostics is readable. The full burn is wonderful. Gives us an extra two thrust there. We are descending to Mars. Right where we should be descending to Mars. The astronomical observations are so beautiful. Gives us an extra five nav. Wonderful. And there we go. We go up to seven heat. We go down to six drift. Damn. So we need to do that. And we need to do that. And then we can do two aligned burst transmissions. That gives us... We're at one heat, right on the money with the drift. We have the nav, so we can just do two recharges. We can resist everything. And we're landing on Mars, guys. We are landing on Mars. Deep space positioning is... Deep, wonderful, two extra nav there. The systems diagnostics are really pretty. The line burst transmission is aligned and it's bursting as well. That's amazing. And once again, it bursts away and we have completed the Mars descent. Crude Mars lander is landing. I love it. Oh, and there's all the base. Look at that. That is so cool. That is so cool. There's a hab and everything. Oh, man. I love it. And we're planting the flag. Oh, isn't it awesome? I love it. I think it's absolutely amazing. Mission complete. First for the crewed Mars landing, guys. We finished second above in the milestones as well. Four and a half million reward. Doesn't really matter that much. 5,110 support. 456 science for 25 months. Achievement unlocked. Life on Mars. Achievement unlocked. Multiplanetary space. Species. United Space Nerds has landed humans on Mars, May 2006. Uh, first artificial satellite was in 19, June 1958. The historical date is October 1957. The first human in space was in August 1961 for us. Uh, for in Historically, it was April 1961, the Vostok 1. The first human EVA for us was in September 1967. And historically, it was in March 1965 by the Russians. First human on the moon was our Apollo in 1970. Uh, April 1970, just a little bit behind the historical date of July 1969. And then the first space station was in March 1976, where the Russians did it in April 1971, the Salyut. Uh, all right, let's see. Milestones completed 33, total missions completed 95, milestones finished first 26. So 26 out of the 33 milestones that we completed, we finished first. That's pretty good. We failed eight, eight missions. I thought we only failed two. Huh. Did we really fail eight missions? Does it? Ah, uh, it counts. The rockets exploded. Because we failed two in space and six times our rockets exploded. I get it. Alright. 
then astronauts we lost one astronaut poor dinky bernard blew up we didn't fire anyone seven retired older astronaut in space byron massa 55 astronaut with most missions was honorary board with 11. My funding tier reached is 22 science accumulated 701,000 support accumulated 191,000 mission text research 62 vehicle text 50 building text uh, 31 very cool so we could continue playing but we are going to end the game we've won we landed on mars we were the first to do so with a crew beautiful thank you so much for your support for this series guys thank you for your support for the channel you are absolutely amazing you have no idea how much it means to me i am so grateful to all you guys for wanting to watch my videos here uh, on the channel it really means a lot so yeah we will end mars horizon here we may come back to it someday i don't know Tr try playing as some other agency or with just with some other um uh, uh, parameters for our agency we'll see we'll find out but for now thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in some other game i hope bye bye